Did you know the device you use daily goes through an incredible process before it ends up in your hands? Making an iPhone takes around 34 hours of detailed work. Today, we will learn how iPhones are made step-by-step -step, from gathering raw materials to the final product. Let's start with the basics. iPhones are made from a variety of raw materials, aluminum for the body, silicon for the chips, and lithium for the battery. These materials come from different parts of the world. For instance, aluminum often comes from Australia, silicon from Japan, and lithium from Chile. Aluminum is used for the iPhone's body because it is lightweight, strong, and resistant to corrosion. It is mined from bauxite ore, which is then refined into aluminum. Silicon, used in the chips, is derived from sand and is essential for making semiconductors. Lithium, used in the battery, is extracted from brine pools or spodumene ore. It takes about 70 elements from the periodic table to make a single iPhone. This includes rare earth elements like neodymium for the magnets in the speakers and earphones and indium for the touchscreen's conductive coating. Once the raw materials are gathered, they are sent to different factories to be transformed into components. The screen, for example, is made from a special type of glass called Gorilla Glass. This glass is very tough and resistant to scratches. It is produced by Corning in the USA and then shipped to China. The chips, which are the brains of the iPhone, are made by a company called TSMC in Taiwan. These chips are tiny but very powerful, capable of handling billions of operations per second. The process of making these chips involves photolithography, where patterns are etched onto silicon wafers. Each wafer can hold hundreds of chips which are then cut out and tested. Other important components include the battery, which is made using lithium-ion technology, and the camera module, which combines lenses, sensors, and image processors. The assembly of these components involves precision engineering and advanced manufacturing techniques to ensure high quality and performance. Now let's move on to the assembly process. The components are sent to large factories in China where the actual iPhones are put together. The main assembly plants are operated by a company called Foxconn. Workers in these factories use robotic arms and specialized tools to assemble the iPhone piece by piece. The assembly line starts with the body of the iPhone. The aluminum casing is cleaned, polished, and anodized to create a durable, scratch-resistant surface. Next, the various components are installed inside the casing. This includes the motherboard, which houses the chip, memory, and other electronic components. Did you know that over 300 parts go into making an iPhone? It's a precise process that requires both human skill and machine accuracy. Workers undergo extensive training to ensure they can perform their tasks perfectly. The robotic arms are used to place components with high precision, while workers handle more delicate tasks like connecting cables and applying adhesives. Once the iPhone is assembled, it goes through a series of rigorous quality control checks. Each iPhone is meticulously tested for screen quality, battery life, camera functionality, and overall performance. The screen is tested for brightness, color accuracy, and touch sensitivity. The battery undergoes tests to ensure it charges properly and provides the expected battery life. The camera is checked for focus, color balance, and image clarity. The overall performance of the iPhone is tested by running a series of software diagnostics. If a phone doesn't meet Apple's strict standards, it's either fixed or recycled. Apple aims to ensure that every iPhone leaving the factory is flawless. These quality checks are crucial for maintaining the high standards that Apple is known for, ensuring that customers receive a reliable and top-performing product. This attention to detail helps Apple maintain its reputation for quality and customer satisfaction. After passing quality control, the iPhones go through final assembly. This is where they get their software installed and undergo final testing. Every iPhone is connected to a computer, which installs the iOS operating system and runs a series of tests to ensure everything works perfectly. The phones are then cleaned, polished, and prepared for packaging. This final stage includes checking for any cosmetic defects and ensuring that all features, like the camera and touchscreen, function correctly. Each iPhone is then ready for the user, complete and flawless right out of the box. The last step is packaging. Each iPhone is carefully packed into its iconic white box, along with accessories like earphones, a charger, and a USB cable. These boxes are then packed into larger cartons and shipped to distribution centers around the world. From there, they make their way to Apple stores and eventually into your hands. 
The packaging process is designed to protect the phone during transit and provide a premium unboxing experience. Each box is meticulously inspected to ensure it meets Apple's high standards, making sure your new iPhone arrives in perfect condition. And that's how your iPhone is made, from raw materials sourced from across the globe to the final product in your hand. It's a complex process that involves many steps and skilled workers. Next time you use your iPhone, you'll know just how much effort went into making it. If you enjoyed this behind the scenes look at how iPhones are made, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell to stay updated with more fascinating insights into how everyday things are made. Share this video with your friends and let us know in the comments what other products you'd like us to cover. Thanks for watching.